Ruhi says, how to stop the worldly attachments and affairs from getting us distracted from our final goal? How not to indulge ourselves so much into this dunya when modern times have made it way easier to commit sins? Ruhi, this requires a lecture. But in a nutshell, every individual is created for a reason and a purpose. And every one of us is being tested as we speak. Some of us are tested with illnesses, with poverty, with insecurity, with depression. Some of us are tested with wealth, health, prosperity, and authority. All of these are tested. All of these peoples are tested, and Allah Azza wa Jal would hold them to account according to what they do. So what you are suffering in this life, the calamities, the tribulations, the fitna, the temptations, all of these are to distract you from the straight path. If you manage to hold your grounds and remain steadfast, you're the lucky one. You have passed the test. In order to do this, you need to do a number of great things. Among the top of the list is dua. The Prophet used to say, alayhi salatu salam, ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. O turner of hearts, make my, ha my heart steadfast on your path, on your religion. And the Prophet used to so frequently make this dua, that the companions acknowledged that this was the most that he used to make dua about. So dua is very important. Secondly, you have to create the environment that puts you inside an Islamic community so that you would adopt a healthy Islamic way of life. And this cannot be done until you surround yourself with righteous practicing Muslims. So you hang out with them, you are with them 24 seven, they have your back and you have theirs. This is how you start to develop Islamic etiquettes, thinking and awareness. Thirdly, you have to cut all means that distract you. So if you're addicted to social media, cut it off. If you're addicted to movies and music, cut it off. If you're addicted to gossiping and socializing with people who would further you away from Allah Azza wa instead of getting you closer, cut them out of your life. So you have to prevent whatever distracts you from the straight path, you have to prevent it from becoming an addiction or part of your life. And among other things that, yeah, inshallah, this would uh, give you a, a clear uh, insight to begin with.